Hey guys, this is gonna be a training for air call where you're gonna be able to see all the basics and all what's needed in order for you to successfully use it in your office. We're gonna take you from downloading the app, log into the desktop app, main interface, the to do button, history button, keypad, people, and making your calls. We're gonna go ahead and download the app. To do that, you go to aircall.io slash download. Once right there, you have the option to download the app for your desktop, for your mobile, or you can also install the Aircall browser extension, which I'll explain in a different video. Once you download the app for your desktop, you just go ahead and click on the file and then follow the prompt, and it's gonna install it. Once you install your Aircall app, it's gonna look like this right here. You're gonna have to enter the email address and the password that your air call admin it's going to give you so we're going to go ahead and enter the following so here once you log in this is what's going to look like okay you see you have the main interface which is super simple you can see it right here in this box you have the to do button which we're going to see we're going to check on that you have the history button you have the keypad you have people you have contacts and you have teammates and then you have your settings button right here let's go ahead and start with the to do button the to do button it's going to show you all the missed calls that you have so that you can take action over them you can give them a call back you can also go ahead and check on your voicemails right here if you know the person left a voicemail so we'll just click the play button then the next button we're going to check is the history button in the history button you are going to be able to see all the calls that were made by your team. In this case, you know, we have applied a filter right here. If you see on the top right side of the screen where we are only filtering calls for sales user number two and, you know, with the Texas two number. OK, uh, I removed the filters and now you can see that we have the calls basically for all of our users right here. But again, you can apply the filters, you know, that are going to be good to help you find the calls or, you know, the information that you're trying to find. Like, for example, if I only want to see calls for sales user one, I put that filter. What are the call types? Hey, I just want to see the incoming calls. So I select that. And then there we go. I can see here all, all the calls that were incoming only to the sales user one. And, you know, here's the history. 